Hey, hey, this is Angela Brooks, and I am going to talk to you today about where are all of my customers. If you haven't found them by now, um, they're not lost, and neither are you. Um, I don't know if you use groups and things for um, contacts and communications and finding your ideal clients or not, but that's a huge pro tip. If you are not using Facebook groups, you're missing where your, your clients and customers and distributors are hanging out, completely missing it. And I have noticed that a lot of people don't use groups simply because they think it's a waste of time or they don't get it. Um, yesterday I added five new groups, I think, and I kind of came across them by accident. I wasn't searching for any kind of group and they are like perfect conversations. And I could write blog posts for days out of just one group. And it's a group of women. I don't remember what the name of the group is. Um, something network marketing women. I don't know. But the conversations in all of those five new groups are exactly the same. Now, I don't spend tons of time in different groups. I can go in, usually I'll, I'll scroll through a group and I'll respond to maybe three to four or five questions. Um, and just kind of, you know, thumb roll down through there and see what I can answer. Most of these people that are in the groups are new to network marketing. They're new to business. They're new to generating their own leads. They're just new. And, you know, we've all been there. So it's not like, um, not like what they were asking was strange. It was just nobody in the group. I'm not going to say no, because there's quite a few people in the group, but a lot of them do not or have not reached out for any kind of coaching and they just think that they're going to get in this and figure it out. Um, one lady who has been in, in and around the industry, I think she said like almost two years, wanting to be a, a coach, wanting to be a business coach. And I said, well, that's okay. You know, she was asking my opinion if I thought that was something good for her to do. And I said, yeah, it's all good if you've got the results behind you that you could actually coach somebody. You know, I've been in network marketing for nine years and I have coached, but I still don't feel like I know enough to really um, do coaching a lot. Um, and that's just not patting myself on the back because I have done really, really well in this industry. And uh, probably I'm going to say I'm in the top 3% and make more in this industry than the average person. I'm not, that's not bragging rights. I'm just, it's just a fact that I don't feel like you should be a coach or life coach or any of those other coaches until you've got the results underneath your belt that you can actually do that yourself. You know, that you can really say, in my experience, I did this. Back to the topic of this live is where's all of my customers? They're in groups. They're in groups looking for you. And if you're not in groups, you're not going to find your people because they're, they're steadily looking for help. They're looking for companies. They're looking for um, people to do just basic conversations with, somebody they can, you know, attach their rope to and um, not feel so alone in the business because it can be lonely, especially when you're working at home and you don't have a lot of people around you. It can be lonely. So where's your customers? They're looking for you. And if you're hiding in a closet and you're too scared to um, tell people what you do, then they can't find you. So my suggestion to you is to get into groups. It's not a place for you to air your dirty laundry. It's not a place for you to try to know it all. Um, just go in, meet, connect, read. Just read in some of the groups. That alone is amazing. Um, if I ever need content for my blog or for posts to make on social media, I go to groups and I listen to what people are saying. And that's where you can share your expertise is, um, yeah, when you're in groups and people are asking questions, you get to answer some questions. What are they going to do? They're going to follow you. They're going to jump over in your message box. It's just a fact. When you become the go-to person and you become somebody that has the answer that they're looking for, they're going to start following you. 
And I'm going to drop a link here underneath this video where you can go. Um, it's some free videos that I've done where you can go and see where I find my people, where my leads are. Um, they're not all on Facebook, but uh, enough is on here that could keep you totally busy if you didn't do any other platform. There was one lady said that she was on Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and Twitter and she wasn't getting results anywhere. And it's because she was jumping so much that she wasn't spending time building connections in those areas. So if you're not in a group, go add yourself to five. And you got to be careful on Facebook because if you add yourself to too many at once, then Facebook will restrict you from being able to add your, or add groups, especially if it's something that you're new. Same with messages. You can send like 10 messages, especially I don't like copy and paste messages. I do it for birthday things. I go in and tweak it for different people, but I have a basic layout for, you know, happy birthdays. So you have to be careful when you're doing copy and paste messages, especially in Messenger. But you um, go find some groups. Don't do more than max, max 10 a day. And just get in ones that you have something in common with, something that you like to talk about naturally. When my son was in college and he was still playing baseball, I was in mom's baseball groups. What did we talk about? How to get stains out of white baseball pants. How did you uh, get uh, their, their cleats clean? Um, how did you, um, uh, what was the name of the stuff that you put on their gloves to, you know, season their gloves? And what kind of balls did they buy? Bats did, not balls, bats did they buy? Um, just your typical baseball mom conversation. And then I, you know, with 18 years of experience of being a baseball mom, I had some insight. And those white pants, I had a recipe that I used with the products that I'm connected to. So, hello, a mom with dirty white pants wants to, get, wants to get them clean. What did you do? This is what I did. And next, she sends me a message. How can I get some of that stuff? And it was Thieves Cleaner with lemon and a little bit of peroxide. Scrubs it right out. They look like a polished white brand new pair of pants. So... Get in groups where you can have natural conversation so you don't sound all weird. Uh, nobody wants weird conversation and nobody wants to be see somebody jump in a group and then immediately start selling. They're like, get out of here. So when you join these groups, another, this is an extra pro tip for today, introduce yourself. I have a paragraph that I drop into a group every single one that I join. So it introduces myself, tells them a little bit, a little bit about me, and it starts a dialogue, starts a conversation. Pro tip, you got two today. Have a good day.